Welcome back, and happy to have a special presentation of the Cube here from our Palo Alto studios. Welcome to being back to the program, uh, multi-time guest Howard Ting, who's the CMO of Nutanix, and we're going to be talking about uh, Nutanix.next 2017, Washington, D.C. at the beautiful Gaylord. Howard, thanks for joining me. Great to be here again, Stu. Thanks. All right, so, you know, Boy, you know, uh, not a lot gone on in the last year. You know, company <laughs> went IPO. Uh, you've added to your family. Uh, you know, lots of things going on. Yeah. So uh, t tell us, what, what's new in your life? Yeah, it's been a pretty memorable 12 months. Actually, it's been a memorable four and a half years for me at Nutanix. Yeah. It, uh, I joined the company when I was doing a couple million and probably had less than 100 employees. And now we're approaching 3,000 employees and we're doing close to a billion run rate in sales. And so... You, you can imagine a lot has happened and a lot of a lot of things to be proud of for sure. Yeah, so so we, we've talked to Diraj a couple of times, like before the IPO, right after the IPO. What, I want to get your viewpoint is, you know, is there, you know, more magnifying glasses on you? Do you get more calls or, you know, people calling you every day about like every move and change on Wall Street or what, what's it like on the inside? Sure, yeah, I mean, it is different, it is different, but I think in, for most people, it's not that different. Yeah. You know, for our sellers, for, the people who work at uh, our headquarters office, for people who are supporting our customers, the day-to-day -day is no different. I think the there is this quarterly cadence now, obviously, as a public company. But yeah, we yeah, were already 90 day off. shot clock, perhaps. Yeah, there's a shot clock, but we were always, op <laughs> we've been operating like that for probably five to six quarters before going public where we were on this cadence. So I think there's a little bit more of that cadence and attention to results on a quarterly basis and obviously more careful planning and things like that. Um, I would say from a sales and marketing standpoint, I think the brand has gotten a huge lift from going public and the awareness about Nutanix and also the category and the disruption we're creating is at an all-time high. So yeah. uh, it's been a, definitely a, a big help in that regard. Yeah, so, so you won't need to do a funny video on the street asking people what Nutanix is. I still uh, want to do that in yeah. DC. It'll be fun. <laughs> See if I could find some Trump. Uh, impersonators, and you know, we'll see. I might, you know, I might have a little bit of a twist. Well, all right. You, you always like to bring, uh, you know, some interesting things. Yeah. Uh, let, let's get get to the preview of the, of the show itself. It's a uh, third year doing the show. First year was in Miami. Second year was in Las Vegas. 118 degrees. Yes. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> how, how are you going to keep the heat uh, in the show uh, in DC? Well, I think the heat at this conference is always the attendees and the content. You know, it always comes down to the people you're going to spend time with and the great content you're going to absorb. So this year, I think we have something like 70 plus sessions, over 100 speakers. And as with every .next, it's always about customers presenting, you know, our users presenting what they've learned, how they're using it, what has gone wrong for them, uh, you know, pitfalls to avoid, things like that. So it's just awesome content. And uh, um that's first and foremost what's always made it a great event. And of course, we like to sprinkle in all the little extra stuff that you expect. You know, we have this thing called NX Files where under NDA, you know, kind of like leave your phones at the door kind of thing where we will show all the advanced R&D that we're doing for select customers and, and Okay, prospects. so Howard, you're gonna give us a preview of all that here, right? Can't give you too much <laughs> of a preview, Stu, but I can tell you that it's something that uh, you definitely wanna check out if, when you're there. So we do stuff like that. We have a, a bunch of other programs around the event. We have a partner summit or a partner track uh, for our resellers and our channel partners. We have an alliances track. We have a customer advisory board. So there are just a bunch of programs. It's not one event, it's like five or six events all packaged into a couple of days. So yeah. it's, it's a pretty intense couple of days. And, and, and we're excited at theCUBE. Thank you for bringing us back there. Uh, one of the things you guys do do really well and we always appreciate it shows is we get to talk to the practitioners. So we'd love to talk to the people that are deploying it. I've had the pleasure of talking to, you know, service providers, to enterprise customers, to smaller customers. Um, and, and I'm assuming in DC, you're going to have some government customers we there. We will have a few, too, yeah. Which, I don't know uh, if they're going to be able yeah. to talk on theCUBE, yeah. but, but we'll certainly try. Uh, yeah. Government, you know, the US federal government's always been a fantastic vertical for us. One of the reasons why I decided to bring the conference to DC is to show that team some love because they've been such a big contributor to our company's success. And we're doing so many interesting things. You know, one just quick side note, uh, we're now uh, partnering with a company called Class, uh, who have built a hardened uh, 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 system, a platform that runs our software. And this data center is being parachuted into uh, battle fronts and uh, it's a really interesting use case and, and uh, you know there's so many things like that that we're doing with the uh, with the federal agencies that uh, hopefully we'll get some of those stories out at, at the conference okay um, 
Yeah, but beyond the, the conference itself, can you give us an update, kind of partnerships, you know, shifts in the industry? Uh, you know, it, look, there's been a couple of acquisitions in, in the storage space, and of course you guys are, you know, not a storage company, but, you know, overlap and play against some of those. You yeah. know, what, what are you seeing these days? Yeah, clearly I think all the big systems vendors are now comfortable lead, leaning in on HCI. You know, I think HCI has become almost like a de facto starting point for a conversation about any sort of new infrastructure deployment, you know, whether it's a private cloud initiative, a data center refresh, et cetera. And so I think there's no, there's far less resistance to the concept of HCI today. Um, I would say also that uh, the market is still trying to understand uh, all the differences between the different HCI options, because you have some Gen 1 type products like uh, Cisco Hyperflex, you have some much more advanced products like uh, VxRail, and then you have products like Nutanix that are much more than HCI much more than hyperconverged. You know, we, we market and message as an enterprise cloud platform or enterprise cloud operating system. And we do networking and security, we do cloud orchestration, we have built-in virtualization. So we do so much more than HCI. So our, uh, uh, our conference is not a conference about hyperconverged. Our conference is about how to build enterprise clouds. And I think it's the only conference we would argue, or maybe the best conference, where you can meet the practitioners building enterprise clouds. Yeah, it, uh, it's interesting. You know, we, we've definitely, you know, we've watched that messaging resonates with a lot of things we've been saying and hearing from our community uh, on the research side. We called it true private cloud, mm -hmm. uh, as well as just kind of what is that hybrid definition? Um, I was just, you know, I've been up in San Francisco attending the Google Next conference. There's a Nutanix booth there. I was at AWS reInvent, yeah. you know, there was a Nutanix booth yeah. there. Um, how, how do you guys see your relationship with kind of the public clouds and kind of private cloud, hybrid cloud? How does that fit into your overall message? Yeah, great question. You know, for us, an enterprise cloud is the cloud, and the cloud has to stretch across boundaries. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we're in the future, we don't see a real delineation between public and private. You know, in, in the end state, if there's ever such a thing, you know, whatever it is, three, five years out, we think that the workloads and apps will move very freely between borders, you know, between walls of a data center. So it's all going to happen with one click simplicity and delight, like w we believe we can deliver. So we think that the real hybrid scenarios, they're not fulfilled today. You know, there's a lot of promise, there's a lot of talk, there's a lot of hype, but there's no real execution of true hybrid scenarios. I can tell you, and this is my one little nugget that I'm going to drop for you as a preview, I can tell you that you know hybrid is an area that you should expect for us to make some announcements around uh, coming this year, because that's an area where I think there's a massive opportunity for a company like Nutanix to do it well and, uh, and, and, and uh, own a great share of the real estate. Okay, well, Howard, I uh, want to give you the, the kind of the last word on the conference itself. Um, I'm sure you've got an audacious goal for the team as to how many people are going to be there. Um, you know, what's the pitch to get people to say, you know, go to Nutanix.com slash next, click that button now, you know, come join us at the end of June. Yeah. I'd say, you know, it's, it's the best place to come if you're uh, thinking about the future of your IT operation, you know, and I want to make it as broad a statement as that. It's not just about, you know, what you're doing with your you know, particular piece of your stack. It's about thinking about your real strategy. You know, long term, what am I trying to do for, what is my cloud strategy, right? And if anyone out there is wondering about that, this is the conference to go to because we're going to have conversations about hybrid cloud. We're going to have conversations about how much of my, how many of my workloads should I put in the public cloud? We're going to have lots of conversations with practitioners that are building the private clouds today. Um, there's going to be a lot of rich content, so I think this is the place to go if you're thinking about cloud and and you really don't know where you're going to end up, whether you're going to be mostly end up in the public or private, but we think that's where most people are today. They're not sure. You know, there's a lot there's a lot of boomeranging too. You know, people, folks that have started in the public and now they're trying to bring workloads back. If you're in that scenario because the public is too expensive, this would be a great place because we already have a few customers presenting on why they brought workloads back and how they were able to do that. Yeah. So, uh, you know, n not to just be a blatant plug, but we go to a lot of shows. Um, I, I tell you, the community of people that are at the show are great. Um, and something that I don't get at every show, not only do you kind of get to understand the technology, but you've got some good thought leaders and not just, you know, technology industry leaders, but just kind of thought leaders in general, talking about innovation, talking about the future. Uh, I see you've got, uh, you know, you know, founders and CEOs and, you know, professors and, yeah. you know, authors that I've read um, and have, have seen that at previous shows. So always excited to have places not only that I can learn, but expand the mind. So, you know, we're excited. 
As I mentioned to the audience, uh, Nutanix.com slash next uh, is where you can go register for the event. Of course, check out SiliconAngle.tv uh, for our upcoming events, including the Nutanix show. And uh, look forward to seeing you uh, at many of the shows up. Howard, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Stu. And uh, thank you for watching The Cube. Uh, we'll be back with more coverage here. And uh, you're watching The Cube. <laughs>